It's uh, 11.45 local on the 30th of June and uh, we're on our way. I've just uh, left Farmer's Haven, Haven and uh, heading towards the Manacles Boy which is the start point really for the first leg which will take me across the Bay of Biscay single-handed on my twister um, currently got my uh, autopilot on, engaged it's uh, TP22 for those who know and it's running in uh, wind mode I don't know if you can see this so it's following the uh, apparent wind angle so I've asked it to sail at 55 gust boats rounding up a little bit and it's approximately keeping 55 degrees apparent wind angle which is pretty good I guess we're doing four and a half five knots let's have a look oh five knots there it is uh, a lot of shit on a lot of stuff on there I really got to simplify that I got too much information there we go so 5.1 knots uh, through the water probably about five and a half over the ground yeah, so there we go. Um, we're on our way. 3.30, 4 o'clock in the morning. And uh, the wind finally came. So now we are romping along at six and a half knots in 15 knots of wind on a beam reach array. This is why the windward side of the boat is known as to weather. Because that's where the weather is. knots it's the gusts that get you Actually, the gusts that get you but uh, the sea's not not that bad I guess that's what a meter maybe a meter and a half there's a occasional big one that soaks everything but uh, yeah otherwise pretty good and we're now on calm everything I'm just calm everything down we're on second reef now. second reef on the We are in 15 knots of true wind and making 6.1 through the water and with a bit of help from the tide 7.1 over the ground which is jolly nice now I think I'm gonna go and have a well I'd like to have a little lie down I just tried but I, I couldn't really um, because basically over there is uh, Usha I have no idea what the correct pronunciation of Wusson is but it's uh, the Brest Peninsula the furthest west point of that and a traffic separation scheme just a few miles uh, to the well that's the east of me um, which is full of traffic so I can't really take my eye off the ball for too long at the moment and even if I do as I just tried to I just can't I can't let go I have to keep coming and having a look so um, I guess in four or five hours I'll be well clear of all of this and on a diverging uh, course from all of the traffic that comes through there and that will be the time to start my uh, snooze routine which worked very well last night it was um, 20 minutes in the bunk of which probably two were actually asleep but the others were resting and then uh, up check everything do a bit of nav check the IS and uh, I'm back in the bunk again for another 20 minutes of snoozing well uh, you know relaxing and uh, I managed to do that for maybe three or four hours and probably had a cumulative, <laughs> I don't know, half an hour of actual sleep, but the, the rest is fine. Getting the rest, the, even if you're not actually asleep, 
it refreshes you anyway, just switching off for a while. Um, yeah, so uh, I'll, uh, yeah, when I'm clear of all this rubbish, rubbish, no, this uh, traffic, then um, then we'll try and do the same again. Oh, I see a bit of uh, bird life. That's a, it's the first time I've seen birds. So I wonder what else is around. Okay, enough for now. Bye. So you've got to look out for it's the fishing boats in a rush to get home with their catch. So luckily, my IS picked them up about an hour ago. So there was a potential. And here we are an hour later, and he seems to be just aiming straight for me. Like I'll have to cut that bit out. Anyway, he's going to pass me. a little calmer now. Winds down to about 12 to 15 knots. That's the asymmetric spinnaker stroke cruising chute stroke jenica. And uh, yeah, pretty. There's uh, just 12 knots of wind and it's from uh, from behind. I'm, I'm almost, I'm on a broad, very broad reach almost running uh, so you can see with 12 knots I'm making 4.7 through the water but it's against the tide now so uh, over the ground just 3.4 but that's better than the 1.2 I had before I decided to go for broke and get this beast up God help me when the wind picks up and I've got to get it down again Let's enjoy the moment. The cruising chute and uh, third reef main to try and balance it a little bit for the autopilot. tide would be uh, making a bit better progress. Somewhere over there there's a couple of fishing boats that I need to look out for. It's um, day two evening and it never shows up on the camera but uh, this swell well is one and one to two meters at times and uh, there's some monsters I can tell it's ooh, two meters because when I'm standing up in the cockpit my eye height is two meters and the swell is such that at times I can't see over the oncoming waves therefore from the, the, the bottom to the to the top of the swell two meters and uh, it throws this boat around quite a lot when you get one of those on the broadside so I have to hold on very tight especially if I'm on deck doing stuff yeah but successful day <laughs> you see you do get thrown around successful day um, flew the asymmetric spinnaker in the afternoon it's a nightmare getting it up and getting it down single hand but uh, we got a shift on and now the, oh, the wind is such that uh, we're bobbing along at six knots over the ground sometimes up to seven there's a bit of tide that's helping us and making good time tomorrow this game.